Hey everybody! So I recorded this video and um <laughs> before and I had to re-record it because um I haven't recorded in a little bit. Um I haven't been recording. Um today is Sunday the well is <laughs> September 7th and so I haven't been recording and that's that. So yeah, so um don't mind my shirt. Today was wash day. I finally finished wash day. Um it was 9.15 but now it's 9.20 because but uh, yeah, it's 9.20. If you guys can see that, don't mind my case, it looks beat up. Alright, it's 920. And um, I finally finished. I'm finally finished my wash day. Like it's just like dag, like ah, oh, I'm it's not two o'clock. It's not twelve o'clock in the morning. It's not three o'clock in the morning. Like, oh. So anyway, um so I decided to do twist. This is a different video. I'm just showing you kind of like it's not really hair of the day because hair of the night or wash their hair I don't know what to call it but yeah so um this is kind of a different video I don't know if I did a video like this before or not um but this video is basically gonna tell you like I'm just basically gonna tell you what I used on wash day and stuff like that I'm not gonna do any demos or anything like that if I don't have the product in front of me I definitely will show a picture so you guys can you know see get a visual but other than that there's not gonna be any demos if there's any reviews on the products that I'm talking about I would definitely try to reference you to those videos and try to link them down below so you guys can go directly to them if you have not seen them and that's basically it so I'm gonna give you guys a 360 I know it's gonna get blurred because this camera does that like it's beating on my nerves so anyway I'm gonna do a 360 so I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the small twist Blurred city, I know. Yeah. So I apologize that it's blurred. Like, I don't know why it's okay. All right. So, okay, so what made me decide to do these twists? Well, I'm in a group that's called It's All About The Curls. Um, there's a twist out challenge going on that Ty Crable is doing here on YouTube. So definitely you guys go check her out. And I think she's doing it for the month of September. Um, I'm not participating because I will be going to protect the style mode probably like in a couple weeks or a few weeks. Um, because Miss Diva Deb's challenge is coming up. So I definitely will be doing my crochet braids finally. I was supposed to do them at the end of August, but things have changed and I wanted to wear my hair out. So, um, yeah, so before the uh, Protect the Style Challenge started. And um, I will be revisiting these twists in the um, Protect the Style Challenge because I, I, I like them. Um, I have some shake time, some hang time. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, I kind of do. So let's do a little close-up real fast. Um, yeah. So this is what it looks like. All right. Close-up. I did a different part, a different thing. I usually do a part in the middle, but I want to try something different. You know, I gotta try to change it up sometimes, you know? So, yeah. All right, and also, um, um, uh, Rita Mae June, she's doing a, um, a three-month uh, three mini twist, mini braid challenge. She has mini braids in here now with her own hair, um, which looks very nice. So, um, yeah, definitely go check her out, too, if you guys want to participate. But there's a lot of challenges going on. And so I saw the twist with Ty Crable and everybody showing their, you know, their twist outs and stuff like that on It's All About the Curls. I was like, oh, man, I haven't done a full twist out in a minute. I was like, maybe I should do I was like, oh, I like my coils. I do like my coils. I've been doing coils and coil outs for for three weeks now. But I was like, you know, let me try something different before the before uh, Miss Diva Deb's challenge starts. So I was like, you know, I might as well, you know, do the twist now for a couple of weeks. And that's basically it. So, yeah, um, I mean, like... I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep these twists in for like a week. I think I know her like dad you did all that and you I know I know everybody like um yeah what you mean weeks uh no 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 I mean <laughs> but um yeah so let me let me know if you guys like these um yeah so um I I'm, I'm liking them like yeah so I will definitely will be revisiting this okay so yeah so that's basically it. All right, four minutes of talking about that. All right, so now um, let's get into products and what I use from you know from the beginning to the end. Okay, so you guys know I was doing hot oil treatment prior to cold washing or washing or what have you. You guys know I'm doing the maximum hydration method, the modified version, but I took a week off because I can't. I'm not right now. Um, so I'm probably gonna take a couple weeks off until maybe after like my crochet braids. I'm not sure, but that's a whole nother video if you guys want to know what's going on with that. But um, as of right now, I'm just putting that on pause. All right, so. So, yeah, I wanted to go to my regularly scheduled program for a little bit. Um, so, yeah. 
So I do a hot oil treatment like I always do prior to anything, whether I'm doing some a new Reggie that's always in there. So I use the Evo EVCO and Bio Amla Oil. And the Bio Amla Oil is this, is, is the Indian oil that I've been talking about. I talk about this oil all the time. I've been using Brahmi Amla Oil for a minute and I just started using this Bio Amla Oil for a good, not a year, but maybe like six, seven months, I'm not sure. Um, don't quote me, but I've been using it for a minute and I really like this a lot. Yeah, it's green. I don't like the color green, but it does agree with my hair. So um, it's doing pretty good for my hair. So I really like this. I go through this like water because I use this all the time for my hot oil treatments. I do not mix this with the Evo or the EVCO just because I just don't want to mix it. So the Evo and the EVCO are mixed together, but this is in a separate bottle. So I use this through applicator bottles, okay? All right, so, and then I use the um, Co-Wash Me, um, Co Me Cleansing Conditioner by Allocate Naturals. I did a review on this. Um, I definitely will put a video, I mean, I'm sorry, in the description bar below so you guys can see. Um, and I haven't used a lot of it. I had this for a minute. I have another bottle as well. But I will be going back to this and going back to the basics and using this. I'm using my product stash, so I need to use this. So, yeah. So that's basically about that. So I do have a review on this. I definitely will link in the description bar below as soon as I get to it. But um, you could definitely just type in allocate and it should pop up. But just so you guys, you know, so it'll be easier for you guys. I definitely will try to put it in the description bar below as soon as I can. Okay, so just check back. Just keep checking back. You know, the wheel filling later. You know how I do. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So then... Okay, then after that, I rinse that out, and then I, of course, and then I only, you know, do it one time, and then I do the ACV rinse with, with the brags. I definitely put a pit picture somewhere because I don't have it with me. Um, the brags, I told you guys of what I use before, um, and that's what I use. Um, I purchased that from my local, um, no, 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 yeah. The one that I use, I purchased from my local health food store, but I recently purchased a new one from Vitacost, okay? So, yeah. Um, now, um, what else was next? So, I washed that out. I left that in for 15 minutes. I washed it with a plastic cap, but I don't have a plastic cap. Um, washed it out for 15, um, sorry. I put the plastic cap on, and I kept it on for 15 minutes, and I washed it out. And then I continued on with my DC. And my DC is, this review is coming up soon, is the new Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. Um, I don't know the rest. <laughs> um, Manuka Honey. I'm sorry. Yeah, Manuka Honey and Marufu Oil. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm um, you know, pronouncing it wrong. Okay, it took me forever to get this. Everybody was talking about this product. I'll get into it in, the, in another video, but... It took me, I don't know how many times, to, it took me to get to a fourth Target in my area. And I'm like, dang, maybe I should have went to this area because that area is, um, but yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, review coming soon. So, I did DC with that. I steamed with it for a good 14 minutes with my steamer, and then I went to Walk Lovey, my dog. So those of you that don't know, I do have a, um, a Shih Tzu. So I was walking him, and um, I put on a plastic cap, and then I put on um, a, a scarf or a do-rag or something and walked him. So that was an additional probably like 10 or 15 minutes, and then I washed it out. And after that, I used the, um, I let my hair towel dry, you know, for a little bit. You know, my hair was in sections. And my leave-in the, was the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Cat Soil Strengthen, Growth, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I will be doing a review on this soon. Um, I didn't record anything yet, but I will be using this probably a few more times before I do a full-fledged review. So, yeah. So, I use that. Um, the smell is fantastic i like it. it smells like a nice play-doh it smells great all right so then that was my l my c was the the nubian heritage indian hem and tamanu grow and strengthen treatment mask i do have a review on this on my channel so definitely go check it out i would definitely link it down below i'm sorry i don't feel like doing a close-up again but that's what it is um but i do have a review on it and um yeah so this was my c and my o was um oil that was mixed that um the natural 85 oil if you guys are not familiar with natural 85 um she has an oil that she mixed castor oil avocado oil i believe evo um and things of that nature so um yeah so this was all the way up to here i was using this on my skin sometimes and my hair so i went back to the basics and use this oil for this for, for right now i'm trying to use up certain products that i have okay and then after i did all that i detangled my dimming brush 
And then for my styling, I was going to use Obia Twist With Butter, but I was like, no, let me go all the way back to the basics, okay? So this is my other HG, my other HG, my other holy grail that will never fail me. This is my night, I love this. This is giving me a nice twist out. Carol's Daughter Healthy Hair Butter, okay? Um, I do have a review on this, I believe, and um, from a long time ago, and I love this butter. Ever since I have seen Toya Boutress's um, here on YouTube video, she used this. I was like, I'm going to use it to see if that's going to work on my hair. And it definitely does. A lot of people don't like the scent. You know, I don't care about the scent. That don't bother me no more because I, I always, you know, it don't matter to me. I'm not really, you know, whatever. And so, um, you know, I like it a lot. So I really do. So, yeah, I have a review on this, I believe. So I definitely link it down below. So that's basically about that. So, and last but not least... Um, this is the Organic Hair Oil by Jaquela Tree of Life. Um, I heard about her through Ty Carable's channel, and she did a review on this oil. And, yes, I haven't done a review on this yet, but this is the oil I have been using on my scalp. So, um, yeah, I like this oil. Yeah, I'm not going to do a review now, but just to give you guys a heads up that I do like this oil, and I have been using this for the past few weeks now so every time I you know freshly wash my hair I put this on my scalp and rub it in I definitely like this oil it definitely is good I really like it a lot so that's basically about that and um that's it you guys um I hope I didn't forget anything um so that's what I did I twisted my hair and then I rolled the ends like that because um you know so it could be easier to take out and um, that's basically it. So I will leave these in for a few days and probably do a twist out or do a twist out um, towards the weekend. I'm not sure. But I really am liking these a lot. I didn't think I was going to like them, but I do. And I'm glad I did do these because I was going to do um, coil out again. But I was like, let me just give those a rest for now. I've been doing it for three weeks. So let me just get out of rest and let me just do some twists because I haven't done twists in a minute. And I do like twists. I'm a twist out girl. So yeah. So um, I did say that real fast. I apologize. But anyway, but yeah, so enough of that. Um, sorry this video was a little bit long, but you know, you guys know I had to talk about what I use and stuff like that. So that's basically it, you guys. So, yeah, so this is my hair. Some little shake time here. And, um, I hope you guys like it. And, um, because I really do like it a lot. I really do. I'm like, what? What's going on? Do I want to put crochet braids in my hair? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm putting the crochet braids in. I'm just keep pushing it back. <laughs> um, but anyway, but um, when I take out the crochet braids, I think I'll put these back in. Um, yeah, I might do that, you know, because I want to try something else different. You know, just try to spice up the hair journey a little bit. That's what I like to do. But anyway, I don't want to keep talking and stuff like that. I hope this video wasn't all over the place because I feel as though it was. And I'm sorry, but it was very impromptu. I was just souped that I finished, I finished my wash day early i'm just so soothed i'm like i finished my wash day early i could chill you know what i like that i know i have to wake up early in the morning but still it's like dang i don't have to be all extra tired and be like dang my fingers hurt you know i mean <laughs> you know it's just like i'm soothed right now you guys you guys know how i get soothed i'm like okay all right all right so anyway um yeah reviews are coming and um you know so that's basically it you guys and um yeah i want to forget anything so i'm out you guys so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't ask. If you don't want to ask, comment below. Definitely in the inbox or you guys me marquee 97 gmail.com. I'll definitely buy back to you. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.